Welcome back to the channel. This is Dipankar, and we are going to continue the series of Omni Studio tips and tricks. And particularly in this video, we will be talking about how to display a flex card inside of an Omni script, right? So, on my screen, if you are able to see it over here, right? So, this is a flex card we have built in our previous video, right? And in this flex card, these contacts that you are able to see over here, they are the child contacts, right? So they are getting rendered as a part of the child flex card. So what I want to do, I want to pass all this data from the Omni script to the flex card and I want to display the flex card inside the Omni script, right? So we are going to do this. So before that, let me give you the background. And so this was the flex card that we have built before, right? So we have made a clone and we are able to do up to this part. Now, we are having this child flex card display contact details and this display contact details since it does not have any data source it takes the data from the child flex card now when we are going to launch this child flex card from an omni script we also need to pass this data right so that's what we are going to see what are the properties and what are the ways that we can do it so we have the salesforce documentation over here um, they explained how to pass the data from an LWC Omni script to an embedded flex card. So if you want to set up records, uh, there is a way. If you want to pass the record ID, there is also a way. And if you want to parent object, there is also a way for that as well. So we will see the first and third one. The second one is obviously easy. And yeah, so since this particular flex card uh, needs the record and it also has an attribute, we are going to see how to pass both these data source and attribute from the Omni script and to display the child flex card or maybe render the child flex card from the Omni script. So let's go back to over here our Omni studio and let's start by creating an flex Omni script, right? Now I'll just give it a name, I'll write name sample display flex card right or maybe instead of sample i'll just write demo because out of the box uh like um omni studio gives the name sample so i'll write give demo and here i'll write display flex card okay so now we have created a phrase omni script right and to pass the data we need a data source from the Omni script, right? So if you see over here, this particular flex card has a data source to it, right? The data source is being on the parent flex card, but it is not present in the child flex card. Since we are uh, going to pass the data to the child flex card, we need the data. So we'll uh, copy this and we'll add an integration procedure. So we'll just write integration procedure action, right? and instead of the procedure we will give it the name right and in the remote properties we can configure let's see what we did over here so this integration procedure takes an account id so we will pass the same thing it's always a best practice to only send the extra payload so in the key we will write account id and the value that we are going to pass is a context id right so we have the context id over here so if i just simply preview it and we just need an account id right so what i can do we will just come over here let's see if we have something we have a test account id over here we will just simply preview this just to make sure what are the nodes that we have So it won't render anything, but if we see the selected contacts is the node that we are interested in, right? So we are going to pass the selected contacts and also in our flex card, right? So there is an attribute that is called name, right? And we also want to pass that name. So passing the account name is a little tricky. It's not difficult. It's quite easy, but you have to understand the language over here. So it says, if you want to pass a record ID, right, 
sorry if you want to pass an parent attribute so you give a name like parent attribute and inside the uh, for the value give the json node instead of the name so here in the flex card right in the flex card we have name and also from the integration procedure we are able to see the name so let me show the let me or uh, we can go over here so if i give this as an account id right and if i click on execute um, let's if i click on execute it gives me everything inside the name is present inside the account right for you if it is not present we can go to the data after simply over here if it is not present in the output you can just create a new output node and add the account name so that's what so we are going it other way around actually my, you might get confused but what are trying to do is that we are trying to replicate the same thing that we are able to see here on the screen okay so up to now what i was talking was theory now let's do the actual implementation right now we have our data ready we have our omni script ready we are just wanted to call the or maybe display the flex card from omni script so from here please understand carefully so if i have to display a flex card the first thing being the flex card or the child flex card that we are able to display that should be active right so in this case this is active the second important thing for the flex card we need to have the omni script support checkbox enabled i already did it but in case if you are going to do it from the scratch or maybe you haven't done it yet you need to enable the checkbox so uh, from the flex card side we are good we have activated the flex card and we have checked the omni script support now to add the flex card we will just search for lightning web component since flex card is an lwc we will have the flex card over here right now for the flex card name we have to give the name of the flex card so for here this name is display con details please remember you don't have to give the name of the child parent flex card we are only interested in the child flex card so i'll just copy this name and i'll write display con details also don't choose this version choose the master version it will do the thing for you now to pass the records right we have to add the attribute so to pass the records two things we need to do the first one over here you have to add something like parent data since we are passing the records so we will write parent data and the value should be true now we are going to add the records so for the records we will write records and the value right from the value over here while we did the preview we have seen that the value was coming in the selected contacts right you, you see this node right selected contacts and the same thing is present over here in the integration procedure we will just paste the value as selected contacts right we will go to design for the custom properties we will pass the selected contacts and please make sure you have passed it inside the morseville syntax and make sure that more syntax is correct i i think i made a mistake but let me remove everything i will pass everything like this i have created a more syntax inside the more syntax i have pasted the selected contacts right so i have passed the parent data and i have to pass the records now the same thing that we have done over here we also need to pass the attribute now the attribute to pass the attribute from lwc enabled omni script to flex card the first thing that we have to give it as a parent attribute okay so i just copied it over here in the omni script we will just write the parent attribute and for the parent attribute it says that um let's understand our use case for our use case we want the name but the attribute can be many right 
for us we have a single attribute but the attribute can be many and to pass the attribute you have to pass the property name like all the node which contains all the attribute for us uh, if i show you the integration procedure the node name is present in the account right and uh, if you have multiple attribute you can also pass them as well but we have a single attribute and that's completely fine so we also again use the more syntax and we will pass the account right now this is all we have to do and if i show you by directly previewing it okay so even if we did everything it didn't work right uh, because the omni script is not active yet so whenever you are adding any type of lwc or flex card make sure that you activate the omni script in order to display the data um, i mean make the oh, lwc or flex card rendered properly right so i'll just activate this let's give it some time and let's now preview this okay we have the context id over here and we have the selected accounts now we see that this data has been rendered properly right and you can see also the attribute name right this is also rendered properly so yeah this is all about how do you display a flex card from an omni script right so that's it for this video and thank you for watching